I don't know why, but it was really hard to press start recording in OBS for this video. Uh, for whatever reason, but anyway, I uh, made a I made a video yesterday, and I was going to respond to the comments, seeing what the whole atmosphere and community's take is. But there were so many comments that I think it's easier for me to make a YouTube video and uh, go through the most liked comments, as well as uh, other comments that are a bit diverse from the most liked ones. And the two things that I would like to mention before we go into the comments is that. My main point of the previous video was that it's very difficult for me to justify cheating in any way or form, uh, no matter what the reasoning is, even if it leads to something good, it's just it's just difficult for me to do. And the second thing is um, something that I missed. I didn't know how many casual players weren't aware of the cheater statistics, and uh, while streamers maybe could have judged and could have ex could have could have gotten this info from experience. This is not something casual players were aware of. By saying casual players, I mean somebody who doesn't play the game 8 hours a day, somebody who plays on the weekends or like a couple of hours a day. You get the point. And by cheater statistics, I mean how many cheaters per rate there are. And that, that video from GOAT was actually eye-opening for a majority of the community. This is not something I expected. And uh, let's, get, let's get to the questions. This is not the comment I decided to take for the YouTube video, but it appeared 11 seconds ago and I think this comment is pretty right, so I decided to include it anyway. Um, honestly, you're just rolling on a slippery slope, fell on C so hard, cheaters gonna cheat. Your assertion that we all know there are cheaters and how common they are isn't valid for the vast majority of the players. You're definitely falling into your own hole of being terminally online and on Tarkov to the point you've forgotten those of us who aren't. Um, his video is was eye-opening for me, sure, and the comments both here and on the ghost video bear that out for many of us, it was it was the same. I generally like your take on things, but you really missed the mark on this one bot. And before you double down and refuse to relate your viewpoint. Um, and yeah, I think I think I have to agree with this comment that um, partially my take in the previous video was a bit disconnected well not a bit it was disconnected from the community and as i earlier said that uh, i wasn't expecting i wasn't expecting that uh, it was such an eye-opener for the community and i also seen a couple of uh, comments about the dislikes uh a lot of comments saying that there is so many dislikes on the video yikes yikes uh such an l take and um I don't I don't take it personal. I think this is this just shows so right now this video has 1600 likes and 5400 dislikes. And I don't take it personal in any way. I think it just shows that majority of the community uh, disagrees with my take, disagrees with uh, most of my points in that video. And uh, most of you provided reasonable arguments in the comments and uh, that's what we're going to go through now. I probably won't be reading the comments out to save you time, so feel free to pause the video if you want to read them yourselves. Uh, but this is the most liked uh, comment on the video, which appears the first for me. And um, the guy says that the cheating problem is out of control, it needs more attention and steps need to be taken, otherwise the game is going to die and the replay system has to be happened. I agree that replay system uh, would be good for the game. I don't think replay system would necessarily solve the cheating problem. For example, COD has replay system and the cheaters still exist. However, at least it would be easier to report people as uh, half of the reports will go away, right? Like, yeah, sometimes it's difficult to tell if the guy was camping or he was actually just sniping across the map in some cases. So, report system would definitely be helpful. Sorry, Axel's non shimmer sound casual player trail off. The video was incredibly needed and is more transparent than anything BG has ever hoped in the community. I think this could break down uh of the experience would be the only thing that he is missing from the video um yep i i guess i agree with this point um it would be nice if we could see more of his raids because i think he showed only five raids out of 120 and i would also love to see the statistics at the end of the experiment like the overall stats of uh the raids the experience the scav kills uh making sure that there are no player kills and uh, stuff like this Perfect example of why you should almost never listen to any shimmer, they're always by proxy on the payroll of the same company you criticize. Nikita, where is my money? Knowing there is more pressure to resolve the issue, the better. Um, I hope so. I really, I really hope so. I really hope this is gonna help improve the game. 
I feel like Axel is putting words in the god mouth, he's not proud of cheating, he's proud of the results, which is rightfully so. He was able to get the evidence on the cheater problem Tarkov. Uh, I think this, this is talking about the title of my previous video, and uh, yeah, I should have phrased it better. Uh, phrasing it that he's proud of the actual cheating um, is, uh, is a bit misleading on my side. I agree with this one. So here's how I say it. He didn't cheat because cheating involves playing the game, and in this case he was just spectating. Uh, he wasn't killing anybody or causing any harm to the player, so he didn't cheat. Um, I would say I hardly disagree with this uh, comment for one reason. as We can lead it back to TOS. As long as you download the cheats and launch the game, that's already considered as cheating, even if you don't go into the raid. So, <laughs> I mean, maybe you don't agree with me, but uh, I'm, gonna stay, I'm gonna stay true to what I say. I don't agree with this comment. Uh, I still think that the GOAT cheated, um, and I wouldn't say this is this is an excuse to say that he was not cheating. In my opinion, it's very simple. In TOS, it states that if you download cheese and launch the game, you're cheating. It's as simple as it gets. Um, yeah. Axel is the kind of a guy to say sorry to the cops for beating him. <laughs> I don't know why, but this comment made me giggle. Uh, yeah, this is why I stay inside and uh, never go out. Sorry, Axel, this video has done for cheater awareness in Tarkov more than anything and more than any other creator has done and was much needed. I mean, a lot of likes. Uh, if the community feels this way, then it, it is this way. I don't argue with the numbers. I don't argue with the community. If you guys feel this way, then that's the way. So I picked this comment because it was very hard for me to argue the points as the guy made it very structured and uh, very easy to understand. And I think most, like 95% of his points are very valid, if not all of them. So as a streamer, you have a very different perspective from a large proportion of the player base. Your experience is not normal because you play game more than others. Uh, your experience is different. As a casual player, I'm unable to play during prime hours and I don't get full lobby, so I didn't see the cheating, the cheating problem as much. The GOAT video was eye-opening uh, to me and uh, I guess to, to, many, to many others. Can't disagree. I, I, I can't disagree with this. I appreciate your concerns about the increased attention and uh, resulting in a higher number of cheaters. However, shining a light on the problem is only a bad thing if BG refuses to acknowledge it. Um, again, can't disagree, but, but the video still leads to a higher number of cheaters, even though it lights, uh, it lights the problem up. Third point is a pretty fair point. Can't really comment on it much. Cheater publisher thinking GOAT is not GOAT's fault or responsibility. Um, it's not. I would say it probably comes as a side effect, but it still took place. Point five, yep. Uh, I just hope the Tarkov is going to become better and um, all of us will enjoy the game eventually. If you read it this far, thanks. Keep up the good work. Mwah. I think more or less we're done going through the comments. There were some troll comments which tried to get to me on a personal level, but I'm not really going to go through those ones um, as I don't feel like there is a need for me to, to do so. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for providing the ratio in the video, showing me that most of you do not agree with my point. And thank you so much for explaining it in the comments, being, uh, being critical and uh, providing valuable points which I understood and which I couldn't see um, before, before reading the comments. Um, so yeah, I guess there isn't much more for me to say. I guess next time I'll try to more carefully assess the situation. And once again, thanks so much for spending your time here and I'll see you in the next video.